Hi, welcome to the channel. I hope everything is well with you. So if you don't know me, my name is Paulo and I usually do videos about uh, DaVinci Resolve and other stuff related to video. The other day I was watching uh, Casey Ferros on YouTube and he was uh, creating an, an animated arrow and I decided to make my own version but using S shapes. So today I'm here to teach you how to create that arrow in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can do it also. But first, let me put my glasses because the A's does not forgive. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve in the edit page. And this is the arrow that I'm going to teach you to do. Let's put this in the beginning and play. So as you can see, this is a simple arrow with some animation. So let's create a new fusion composition. Let's call it arrow and create it. Let's go and open it in Fusion, so it's an empty composition. Let's add our background and connect it. And now let's start by adding the shapes. For finding the shapes, you come here to the tools and you come here to the where it says shape. And this is all the nodes that you have for shapes. So I'm going to use for the arrow a rectangle, S and gun and S boolean, then I will need an S render. So let's connect this to the boolean, then connect to the render, put the render in the one, and you are only seeing this because here in the boolean, we, we have to come here to the operation and it, where it says intersection, change it to union. And now you can see both. You don't see it because the rectangle is too big. Now let's adjust a little bit of the rectangle. So let's put it right this and let's offset it a little bit over here. Now let's go to SNGON and change this to three sides for the arrow. And let me change this to 0 0.3, 0 0.3. And let's also offset the arrow somewhere around here. And we have our arrow done. It's easy. Now you have one arrow and you, if you connect it from here to here, you have your arrow and you can do whatever you want with your arrow. But let's add a little more steps. So let's get going to create the outline for doing that. You're going to use here the S outline. I'm going to use the S change style and I'm going to use a S merge that I'm going to put here. So I'm going to connect my S boolean to the S change style, the S change style to the S outline and connect this to over here. Now let's come to the boolean. First, let's change the name F2 and let's arrow color and let's come to the arrow color over here to the style and change the color to red. And now immediately you see the outline. So this is the outline color. So let's change this to outline color. And it's done. Let's put this over here. OK. Now let's animate this. For uh, animate this, I'm going to use a transform node. And I'm going to use the arrow to create a mask for the animation. So I'm going to put the outside the output of the node in our transform and I'm going to put the output of the transform in the merge mask. OK, I, I, I hope you are following me. So if I select the transform, I'm going to come here to the center. And if I move this, look what happens. So this is the animation, the final animation is going to be like this. So let's come here and let's animate this using anim curve. So let's come here, modify with vector result because you can do it immediately with the uh, anim curves. Go to the modifiers and here in the distance, this is what we're going to animate with the anim curve. Let's come here, select right click again and modify with anim curves. The first thing that I do is change this from linear to custom. 
I'm going to use mirror because I want the, it doing the same from the in and in the out of the clip. I'm going to come here to the middle. I'm going to select a point over here, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And this one over here, I'm going to put it over here to 0 0.5. And this one, I'm going to give it a little bit more, 0 0.2. Now, if we play it, you don't see anything moving. So let's come here to the offset and put this minus 0 0.5 and it's not enough. So minus one and it's outside of the frame. And if I play it like this, it won't, it comes to here. Now we can come here to the scale and put it to two and it's done. So now if I play it, this is a little bit heavy to your computer, so bear with me. So as you can see, it's animating, it appears, and now it will start to disappear the same way as it appears, and it's going away. Now let's add the shadow. So the shadow, let's adjust this a little bit. put the merge here and after the merge let's shift space and look for shadow sh and with the shadow over here and add it and now we have our shadow let's put this in the middle because we can see it let me the output let me put the alpha here since because if you don't put the output, the alpha to zero, it won't be a transparent output. It will be a black or other color output. So let's come here to the shadow, select the shadow. And now you can come here to the shadow offset and you can offset a little bit and a little bit like this. And you can adjust the softness here of the shadow. And of course you can adjust the color of the shadow, but I like to give it a black and you can adjust the alpha also, adjust all of this, but for me, it's okay now. And now if we go to the, our edit page, let's remove this one and let's add our shadow that we create and let me render it. Let me, as you can see, it plays perfectly and now it's going. So this arrow, you can use it in your future clips. So as you could see, the node tree is a little bit more complicated inside of Fusion, but I think you can do it also. And if you have any doubts, just leave them down below that I will answer you. And if you want to see other things related to this, just ask me that I will make another video. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button, that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until there, bye.